Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Another reason to be thankful we're now indoor pets. What? What's the other reason? <laughs> I can't see anything except rain. That's what I mean. <clears throat> we're all nice and dry indoors. Instead of out in the rain for once. <sighs> What's wrong with the rain? That animal is a disgrace to cats. Seriously, Wash. Rainy days in the woods weren't so bad. Are you Kidding. We can never find a bush big enough to cover your butt. And my nuts would fill with rainwater. Me, I would always burrow deep into my foxhole until it was over. No wonder you decided to glom onto my awesome indoor life. Like pooping in a box? Okay, Washington, time to do your business. Let's go, boy. <laughs> Come on, Washington, I don't want to play chase right now. <laughs> Washington? <laughs> Come on, Wash, where are you? <laughs> Wash! Mercy, not as young as I used to be. Is this fun for you because it is not fun for me? Come on, Wash, where are you? <laughs> Almost too easy. Gotcha! What has gotten into you? What are you? Honey, help! What's the matter? Washington won't go out. I don't know why he's acting this way. Maybe he just doesn't want to get soaked. Think about it, dear. who goes to the bathroom outside. Washington, I'm going to go dry off. Then I'm going to take an aspirin and lie down. When I come back, you are going outside. Ooh, you're yeah. in trouble. All right, all right. You don't have to make it so dramatic. What else are we going to do? Many days are boring. You just better hope the rain stops by the time Mr. L comes back. Big deal. Even if it does, no problemo. I can hold it. Not me. I gotta go. Be big. Good Good time. Time. Let's all go together. I'm the only one who goes to the bathroom outdoors, like a gentleman. How long can this rain last anyway? Washington? Washington? <laughs> but where the heck is that dumb dog? Wow, what the? 
this ottoman. Could use a good scrub. It stinks. Or I need to wash my feet. Oh, Washington! <laughs> what? I do not stink. A human's nose is a hundred times less sharp than ours, and he could still smell you. Yes, you do stink. <sighs> After dinner tonight. No way! I bet for tomorrow, 8 a.m. I give him one more hour before he explodes. No, you guys are awful. I can't believe this is what you think of Washington, our friend. Thank you, Sam. He can last at least two days, and I'm willing to bet everything I've got on that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't decide if I'm flattered or betrayed. It's hard to think when you really, really have to go. Hey! <laughs> not in your dreams, not in your imagination, not even in your imagination while you're dreaming. Fine, you're not the only one with a litter box. No, but I'm the only one with a litter box that employs anti-you technology. <laughs> This is a mess. Is that a bone? Ugh. Sam, what are you eating? No, no! It would be more painful to use that litter box than to hold it in any longer. What is all this? Eugenie, your crate is filled with junk. It's not junk. A sleeping bag with storage pocket, a weird clock, a bunch of small portraits of numbers, and that's an apple. No oh, way, it's too tight. I need bathroom! 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 Stop! You can't fit in there! No, Washington, the need to pee is getting to your brain! You've gone crazy! <laughs> bathroom! I think it's time for action. Bathroom! Oh. <coughs> You know, splashing me with water isn't the best way to get me to forget that I have to go to the bathroom. <gasps> Wait, this is where the humans go. I can just use this room like they do. Some privacy, please. You can't, it's impossible. Who knows if humans even go to the bathroom? Of course humans go to the bathroom. How do you know? I've smelled things. Great, you can discuss this further outside. <laughs> Send me a recap. Okay, Washington, you can figure this out. What would a human do in here? No, that can't be right. How are you supposed to bury it after you're done? Maybe they use these to smell better after they've done their business. But there are so many different ones. Man, humans must really stink the place up. Well, I know it couldn't be this big water bowl. Who would do such a thing to perfectly good drinking water? Forget it. Maybe Sam's right because I don't see how humans can use this room at all. Some privacy. <laughs> Go take a hike. No, oh, how can every bush be taken? I can't. 
can't just go out in the open like this. I can't do this to food. No. How can so many things fit under one sink? No more choice. I can't hold it anymore. Wash? Washington? What, what are you doing, boy? Just look at that. That's amazing. This little fellow just learned how to go by himself now. What a clever dog. This really deserves a photo, dear. Sure it does. <laughs> See you later, boy. And don't forget to flush when you leave. <laughs> ah, free at last. And it's a beautiful day now. Hmm, I like the smell of the grass after the rain. Don't worry, Betty. I got you covered. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Well, they say, let sleeping dogs lie. And our next dog, a sleeping sheepdog, did just that as his owner found out when he taped his furry friend before he went to work. <laughs> Hilarious! Hey, we could do that. I have a camera. And tape all the cute things our little gang does when we leave. Great idea, hon. Now, if I can just remember where I put it. So, where is his spoiled majesty Washington? No, oh, no. When I left, he was having a bad dream. I didn't want to huh? interrupt. I mean, where is he sleeping? One of his stupid secret spots? I can't say. Hmm. Come on. It must be a pretty quiet spot if he can sleep this late. <laughs> Hmm, I've checked the closet, so I know he's not in the closet. Hmm, you might as well just tell me. Oh, you can have the rest of my breakfast. <coughs> Here. Perfect! Rig that bad boy in 3.4 seconds! And not a moment too soon. We're gonna be late. Have a good day, Furbox! That includes you, Washington! Shake a leg, boy! <laughs> Everyone just a Perfectly normal for the nice camera. Perfectly normal. Ghost clear? Mm -hmm. What's up, Earthlings? Hmm. I'm starving. <laughs> Next up, a hamster who paints. If I, I must, must, I, I must. must. Hey, what's your problem? The problem is you. Hey! Oh. What'd I do? <laughs> yeah. ah. Thanks for attacking Wash. That was nice. What are you talking about? Yeah, show me where he sleeps. No way. I promise. Hey, I know. How about you guys get off of me right now? Oops. Sorry, Washington. What? is going on? You've been caught on tape. <laughs> Naked. What? What's going to happen when the living stones watch the tape and see a fox in their kitchen? We're doomed. 
What? Don't be silly. You know, I'm great with electronics. I just have to erase the tape. Come on, trust me. Hmm. Hmm. Must be a new model. Come on, delete! Delete, delete, delete! <laughs> okay, great. Let's try something else. Oh, so you didn't show the camera who's the boss of it? Nope, but I've got a new plan. And Vic, you're a big part of it. What kind? I had to touch fur with you beasts once today already. Trust me. You're gonna like this. But first, Sam, go get me my suit. sight for a second. Not even for a nanosecond. <gasps> this is a nightmare. I know. Wash is out there all alone. I've got to do something. I just meant us sharing a lap. You better tell me where his secret room is. There he is! <gasps> I think I saw him! Are you sure? Small with red hair and a ferocious smile? Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, Oops, wait a minute. My mistake, it was just my son. Get back in here. <laughs> oh no, Sam! Quick, he needs fresh air. <laughs> Not too much, the fox could get in. I'll get you some water, Sammy. <laughs> 
I think he needs treats, too. Forget about wearing it. Just throw it out the window. And have everyone see Washington's costume just lying on the ground? Oh, yeah. They might wonder where his bones went, huh? Sam, you're good and stuck. Do something, please. You're welcome. Now you have to tell me where this stupid secret spot is. Well, I am grateful for your help. There's only one way I can consider it. Are you kidding? You want me to wear that moldy, crusty, smelly boy dog costume? If you want to see the secret spot. Fine. But that's dealing dirty. Washington. Washington. Oh. Washington! Where are you, you stupid beast? Huh? What the? Why are you hiding in this filthy suit, you... Oh, dog food? Wait a minute. Oh. <gasps> Washington! It's me! <sighs> Hello, me? Uh Dummy, now get me out of this germ blanket. Whoa, it's you! Awesome! I thought it was you that was me. <gasps> Come on, act scared. Arf, 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 arf. Oh, thank ah. goodness! We were so worried. Okay, have we got everybody now? <gasps> yes, animal control. It's me again, uh, Mr. Livingstone. I'm just calling to say that it seems a fox did not kidnap our dog. That's right, did not. Well, it's all yours. Congrats and stuff. Hmm, it needs work, but I'll take it. Washington's secret hideout is finally mine. <laughs> <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Beasts. Whoever gets there first gets to sleep in the living stone's bed. One, two, three, go! How come I've lived here the longest and I'm on the floor? Vic, relax. We're sleeping indoors. You know what's a bad bed? A porcupine. Pointy? And they snore. But I've done it. Thanks to the wild, I can sleep through anything. Well, I need a pillow. Not too soft, but... He's already asleep, isn't he? And dreaming. Beat it, you bandit-faced dumpster divers! We're trying to sleep! <laughs> <laughs> Way to chase off those raccoons, Wash. <sighs> Is Mr. L mad at Washington about the raccoons? Naturally, dogs are supposed to chase off raccoons, but Washington blew it. Now, 
if you'll excuse me. I caught the spot on the couch by Mrs. L's feet. Oh, no! If Wash doesn't chase out the raccoons, Mr. L might kick us out. <laughs> oh, Sam, you're overreacting. You're right. I'm overreacting when I should be over, overreacting. <laughs> Wake up, Wash. Our lives are over. Hey, I thought I asked you for a 9 a.m. wake up. We have a situation. Listen. Mr. L will kick us out if you don't chase off those scary raccoons. I can chase off raccoons. I chased off way worse back in the wild. You did? Technically, I was chased by way worse in the wild. But no worries, I got this. Time's up, boys. Buffet's closed. Don't gotta go home, but you can't eat here. Uh. Oh. I said... <laughs> Arf! <laughs> Yo, I think that dog swallowed his squeaky toy. <laughs> Hit the road. All your racket's making me tired, and you won't like me when I'm tired. Rah! <laughs> <laughs> Go cover your ears with your doggy sweater, fancy paws. My paws aren't fancy. Sure, my nails are trimmed bi-weekly, but... Time for a magic trick. Want to see me pull a fox out of a dog? For my next trick, I'll need a volunteer. Wow! You're a fox? Like a wild fox? Yo, I don't want no trouble. Are we cool? We didn't know you had a long con going on here. No disrespect, though. Just let us grab some food for the road. Still got my wild side. Yo, is it true what they say about indoor pets? Yep, fresh food from a can, twice a day, every day. You're living the tree, man. Hey, wanna take a break from fancy living and run with us tonight? Yeah, this place has some of the tastiest gutters in the world. Well, it sounds great, but I can't. My humans wake up in a few hours and I have this bone I'm working on. You sure, bro? <laughs> Ooh, you know you can't say no to me. <laughs> What's one night? I got soggy french fries on the fox! Put them in a trash bag here, Ricky! <laughs> Hermanos, it was fun. Are you okay? Did they hurt you? Blink once for yes, blink twice for... I'm in too much pain to blink. I'm okay. Don't worry, Sam. You smell like trash, both literal and animal varieties. Guys, relax. The Rack Pack is cool. The who? The what? That's the raccoon gang's name, the Rack Pack. Pretty sweet, huh? You know, once you get past the fleas and the farting, they're good guys. Washington, you hear? Garbage thief, germ carrier! <laughs> Victoria, heal! Down. Wanna run with us again tonight? Found the Taco Shacks dumpster! Oh, I do like day old tacos. I do <coughs> like tacos too, but it's bedtime. Bedtime is for dogs, which I guess makes it okay for you. <laughs> Knock it off. I'll be out in a sec. Did you actually join the raccoon gang? Sam? I don't want to hang out with the Rack Pack again, but I need to make sure they hang out away from here to keep Mr. L happy and preserve our safety. You don't want to have to go back to the woods and eat acorns, do you? No. Okay, but don't let them give you a tattoo like mine. Uh, don't worry. I'm a total professional. Thank you. 
I'd say look what the cat dragged in, but I wouldn't touch you with Sam's claws. Please, I'm a total professional. <laughs> Why, hello, Washington. Is it tummy rub time in tummy rub town? <laughs> wow, good trick! It's like play dead only as play scary! Someone's getting sloppy. Washington, we need to talk. This isn't easy for me to say, especially as I'm thirsty right now and my mouth is dry, but... The raccoon is bringing out your wild side, and your wild side is a big jerk! Hmm? Nap time. Again. He almost blew our cover and he doesn't even care! Okay, time for plan B! Which is? Whatever I think of next. Aha! Oh. Wash, we need to talk. Your wild side is starting to show! We could get kicked out! Oh, you guys! I have my wild side under control. I can stop any time. You almost beat Mr. L this morning. And I've smelled to use litter boxes fresher than you. Excuse me? I defend our garbage and safety by making sure the raccoons eat everyone else's. You want me in that trash? You need me in that trash if you don't want Mr. L to toss us out. We need you in a bath. But Wash, if you keep acting wild, the living stones will kick us out. I can't go back to the forest. It's wet. It's cold. There's no TV. No more talk. Time for action. Ah, I could do action. You make weapons from twigs and feathers. Whoa. If Wash won't do it, I'll chase off those raccoons once and for all. He's my best friend of Loom. <laughs> Your best friend is a trash can? Uh, no, Washington. I won't let you ruin his life one second more. Who wants hot dogs? OK. His life might not look ruined, but... Go back inside, fancy fur. Don't call me fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up your pie hole, fools! Jive raccoons best be leaving our hood. That's street slang, right? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just get ketchup on my fur? That don't come out! Yeah, not until it shakes. Back off, fellas! No way, bro! It's go time! Hey, I wasn't asking. Sure, these indoor pets might not be tough and maybe have ridiculously clean fur. Was that aimed at me? But they are my best friends! Your, your words have touched us. In the butt! Beat it, Blamo! You're out of the game! You, cut! Belly dance for us! Belly dance? Yeah, I'm better at tap. Belly dance! <laughs> <laughs> Don't do the worm! <laughs> hey, Ricky, uh, Fox is back. And these foemen! <laughs> ah, crazy fox dog! That ain't a fox, that's a freak! Run, ah! run, run! <laughs> It was just so... I'm sorry, guys. I don't need to run with those raccoons. I already got the best gang ever. No more wild side? Wow, you really do need a bath. And that's coming from a hog. Hmm? <laughs> just a sec, guys. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Grand old 
all day. Silence. Now and then a fox needs a little solo time. Rush me up! Oh, yay! Group walk. Wash, do we have a dog door or a cat flap? Uh, well, technically. And why are there bird doors? Because generally people don't like their pet birds going out. <laughs> hey, look at that. It's just Alvarez digging. I didn't know dogs dug. You didn't? You didn't either. Sure you did. Oh, fine. Well, guess who else is great at digging? You. Me! Hello, I'm a fox. We dig from diapers. So I can spend the afternoon doing something I love and impressing the elves with some very convincing canine behavior. Hmm. I thought we were going to watch the Adventure Brothers Marathon Season 1. Sorry, pal. Opportunity knocks. We'll help, <laughs> Wash. Your paws and claws are too little to dig anything important. Actually, they can help. How about you two go find me a nice big bone to bury? Something that'll make a statement. Copy that. Great. Oh. Thanks a lot. Oh, Sam, you think I want to spend the whole day working? Playing the role of a great dog takes work, you know? Fine. I'll be inside. Sitting on the couch and watching the show. Like a great cat. <gasps> Any old dog can make a hole. Way to the living stones, see this! What you did! The marathon is starting! Let's kick! Be in soon, buddy! <laughs> this is great! Finally, my own den, where I can relax and be a fox. But I gotta make it my own. My man cave. Not bad, but the iced tea needs ice cubes. Fluff, Washington's doing something weird. What's new? Washington! Oh, hey, Sam. Oh, hey, Sam. What is up with you? You said you were coming in soon. Sorry, but Mr. and Mrs. L never showed up, and I ended up digging more than I expected. I dug a fox den. What? Let me see. I can't. It's my man cave uh, for thinking about life and stuff. What? All alone? Without me? Sammy, you're my best pal. I just need a private place to relax. Stay in touch with my fox side. Sure. I get it. Later, too. <sighs> I'm his everything. Finally, a safe place to hang my photos. <sighs> but it still needs a certain something. What's he doing in that hole? Why does it just keep burying stuff and not covering it? Yeah, he's kind of interesting. Wait, you think Washington is interesting? No, what? Ugh, of course not. Uh. <laughs> Should have done this months ago. Um. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Meow. What do you want? What are you doing down there? I lost something? You're acting weird. Yeah. Just what are you up to? Washington? Digging? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh you dug a great big hole. Oh, wow. It's a tunnel. Very impressive. <laughs> but very, very bad, bad dog. 
We're very disappointed. Time for a timeout. I hope you think about your behavior, mister. Sam! Sam! Come on, help! Ken, I'm at a quick commercial break. Anyway, I wouldn't want to interfere with your alone time. See you later, dummy. Yes, let's go. No! My stuff! My fox photos! <laughs> Let's go! We're stuck, dummy. We're too fat to fit. But you're below me. Shut up. Push! No! This was a dumb idea, Nugget. I know, Fluff. I forgive you. We found an awesome boy! Susie, come here, girls. Did you hear that? Must be the echo. Echo who? Huh? <laughs> hey! I have to get out of here. Fluffy may be discovering the truth about us this very minute. What? They went down the hole. If they find my fox den, we're finished. I pasted up a bunch of our old pictures down there. Uh, you did? You put up pictures of us? Together? Yeah, of course. I thought you wanted to get away from me. No, jeez. I just wanted a little alone time. Can a guy get a little uh, alone time? Best friendship reinstated. Yeah, but we gotta dig. Lucky, lucky. It is you. Are you snooping? Of course you're not, because there's nothing to snoop. But don't touch anything. We're coming. Washington? No dig. No dig. Bad boy. We've got a digger. Digger. Reveal yourself! No! And my kittens are missing! You've got to find them! Sam, get the girls and bring them back you know where. I need help. <laughs> Fluffy, I have something to tell you. I ate that can of tuna you were saving. Nugget! I stole that can of tuna from Victoria, but it was still mine! <laughs> Okay, guys, time for action. We need to get the girls before they get to my place. Everybody dig, now! I just need a little break. Whoa! This place doesn't seem so safe anymore. Hello, girls. <laughs> you're stuck. I mean, you're stuck. Help! No! First things first. What were you snooping around for? To get you in trouble. We fell in. Just get us out of here, please. Oh, please, watch it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ah! Okay, guys, get up. No time to sleep. Fluffy, nugget. So, promise you'll never come near my man cave again. Never. Let's move out. Save the cats! That's why he was digging. Oh, Washington! We owe you a big apology, boy. Oh, thank you, Bannington. Uh, Waddington, whatever your name is. In the form of a sandwich. Here it is. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. A cat. Oh, come on! That doesn't look like a cat at all. Hmm. You guys, <laughs> look! Look what I just found sitting in the kitchen. I've seen these on the TV box, and this one's brand new. I love it! I love it! I love it! Anyone know what it is? Hmm. Easy there. Hello, people. It's a cell phone. This should be good. It goes ring, ring, and you answer it like this. <laughs> Must have been a wrong number. <laughs> there, squeaky clean. Which is more than can be said for Washington. Look at him. <laughs> Someone needs a B A T A. Huh? Booth? We should give the dog a booth? What would he do with a booth? A B A T A. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah! Hear that? I'm getting a B-A-T-H! What is it? I have no idea. Well, time for a nap now. A B-A-T-H is, of course, a mechanical belly scratching device. Um... Here she is, the B-A-T-H 3000. <gasps> Get that a good doggy, good doggy. Or maybe it's a designer snack. Yeah. Would Sir like ketchup on his B-A-T-H? Actually, I think it's a car. A dog car. <sighs> you mangy fake mutt, B-A-T-H spells bath. A bath? With water and soap and medicated conditioner? <laughs> I'll be there with you, Washington. Cats don't get bathed, Ding Dong. They lick themselves clean. Mmm, yum! Tasty! Sam, don't you get it? If the Living Stones bathe me, they'll discover I'm a fox and that you're a big fat boar. <laughs> then it's back to the wild for us. No warmth, no shelter, <gasps> no cable! <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do? Hey, I'm trying to sleep over here. Kindly take this meeting of the minds outside. TV time! This is a nightmare. Do you need to get your meat machine squeaky clean? Yes! Well, then we'll are down to Ed's Mega Wash now! We're, We're coming, coming in! in. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria, watch Eugenie and Susie. <laughs> yeah, right. My next nap starts <sighs> now. TV's a better babysitter than me, anyway. Seen it! Seen it! Seen it! Seen it! Victoria, we're bored. <laughs> bored! Bored! <laughs> bored! Bored! Quiet! Hmm? Who wants to play an awesome game? <laughs> this has to work. I don't want to go back to the forest. <sighs> Ha, <laughs> ha,
Clean yet, mister. Uh. <laughs> hey, no rush. I'm coming, buddy. It's simple. The first one to blink is the loser. Okay, hmm. we got it. Hmm, well played, Victoria. Ha! Close huh? your eyes! Loser! 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 I'm oh. not playing. I'm asleep. Just because you lost, you're pretending to be asleep. Come on, don't be a sore loser. Hmm, okay. Who'd like to go to the movies? Me, 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 me. That was worse than a hundred booster shots. Sam, I have to stay clean because I could not survive another bath. <laughs> it won't be easy. <laughs> But I know I can do it. <laughs> it's a matter of life and death. <laughs> I can only rely on myself. <laughs> like everybody knows, Sam, you're born alone, you die alone. <laughs> Are you going to eat that in front of me? I'm starving here. I'm trying to stay clean, and eating is a dirty, dirty business. Ditch it, Sam. Ditch it for me. Woo! I'm lost. What's happening? The pair of trousers went swimming and got caught in a whirlpool. Oh, oh crazy bubble monsters! If you get hungry, call for pizza. Ah, <sighs> nap time. I just show my clean self to the living stones and it's bye-bye <laughs> bath time. <gasps> Dessert. Delicious, delicious. Dessert. Washington, no. Eating is a dirty, dirty business. I know, I know, but I'm hungry. And I can <laughs> smell it. Sweet dessert. Have mercy. <clears throat> Curse you, Belly, for leading me astray. I'll save you, Washington. Uh... <laughs> I'm okay. I'm still squeaky clean. to wash Washington. I'll help you on one condition. You guarantee me 12 hours uninterrupted sleep. Deal! Sorry, kids, intermission! <laughs> Whoa, these glasses really work. <laughs> Washington! in here, and it smells chickeny. <laughs> Where is that dirty dog? I can't wait. <laughs> uh -huh. I can't find him, honey. 
Come on, let's stretch this back into shape. <laughs> oh boy, I need somewhere more sanitary to hide. Surprise for you in the bathroom! <gasps> okay, that's enough. <laughs> now, where's Washington? <laughs> Washington! Oh no! He said he was roasting in there! It's okay, I know mouth to mouth. <laughs> uh, Sam, that's a chicken. I wondered where that went. Then where's Washington? Washington? I think she's in the bathroom. Yeah. Washington? He started without us. What a good dog. Let's rinse off those bubbles. It's okay, Washington. This will be over in a minute. You've got to do something quick. Open one. <laughs> We get them out! <laughs> Hang on a minute. All that foam smells mighty minty. Toothpaste isn't cat food, silly. <laughs> <laughs> Washington rinsed all by himself. He's squeaky clean. This photo's gonna look great in the pet gallery. We'll put it right next to Victoria's first hairball. <sighs> what a nightmare. I have taken my first and last bath. I thought foxes were supposed to be smart. Around here, dogs get a bath once a week. Oh, yeah. What? No! 12 hours uninterrupted rest. Guaranteed. <sighs> Washington, <laughs> it's a call for you! Stay away! <laughs> Take the message, I'm not home! Yes, you are! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. included in your training kit, this beautiful dog whistle that only dogs can hear. <laughs> Guaranteed to make your dog sit up and pay attention. That's amazing. I need one for my wash. Huh, Wash? What do you think? Psst. Wash, do the dog. <laughs> Boy, Washington! Another wasted nap. Thank you, Washington. Welcome back to the news, everyone, and for our final story of the evening. Tonight is a very special night for all you stargazers out there. At 9.46 p.m., a special full moon. The one astronomers are calling the Red Fox Moon because of its brilliant red glow. <laughs> It happens only once every 50 years, and it's going to be a major event. Uh -huh. Beware the were fox! Enjoy the red fox moon, everyone. Were fox? What does that even mean? Oh boy, let's have a red fox moon party! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get the moon food. 
Here comes the moon fire! Here comes the moon food! I'm gonna get some great shots of the moon for my website! The website that only I follow? <laughs> Can you believe it, Wash? We're gonna see a red... Hoo! Moon tonight! Hope we don't see any were foxes. <laughs> were fox? Can someone please explain? Oh yeah, you've never heard of a were fox? It's like a werewolf, except it's not as cute. Uh. Soon, Washington, you'll turn into an ugly, howling, drooling, biting, scratching, uncontrollable wild beast. Come on, guys. You don't actually believe that. There's no such thing as a... Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah. ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what timing. I can't believe my luck. See? It's happening already. And the moon isn't even really red yet. Hope everyone is having a good time tonight waiting for the red moon. Yes! Good. Now, does everyone have their sausages on the grill? Ooh, come on! <gasps> Let's get the sausages. What do yeah. you say? We'll be right back! Sausages! You gonna watch me like that all night? No. Maybe yes. <sighs> Sam, listen to me. Nothing is gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sam. You know me. We grew up together. We're like brothers. <laughs> You're drooling. <laughs> A little bit too salty. <sighs> huh? <laughs> Drooling check. Now, scratchy time. Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, party people. We're only a short bit away from the big event. Let's keep spinning those moon tunes. Where foxes are scary. Sam, enough! I am not going to turn into some wild, scary, biting, and scratching beast! Come on! Seriously! I told you everything is fine! Nothing is going to happen! It's happening! Itchy, scratching beast! No, 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 Sam. Nothing is happening. I was just suddenly itchy. Let the howling begin. Howl! <laughs> Good evening, ma'am. And cool outfit, by the way. You like to bark? You're gonna scream. Spirit Washington? <laughs> Looks like someone here is getting in touch with their inner werefox, huh, boy? <laughs> oh, my friends can't be wrong. We're drawing even closer to the Red Fox Moon Party, people. It's not long now. Oh. Oh. From where we are, the is turning more and more red every second. <laughs> 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 
Just look at yourself. You're a crazy, twitching mess. It's happening, Vic. I'm trying not to. But I can't. Vic, you gotta hide me and keep me away from everyone before I turn. Oh, yes. Yes, we have to hide it's you. almost that time. Oh, boy, I can't wait. Hey. Where's Washington? We can't do this without man's best friend. Too late. Come here, buddy. Ah! Ah! Come on. You don't want to miss it. Oops, Second sorry, away Vic. From the red box moon, everyone. Ten. Sorry nine, again. Eight, seven, <laughs> six, five. Hide your cat. Because Wait, what? Hide your coming. cat? That means it's web time. Three. And in our final story of the night, we've got some interesting pictures from a Red Fox moon party last night, where a real-life werefox was spotted. Check these out. Those are my pictures on TV! <laughs> That's my hubby! <laughs> I don't know. Something tells me that that's a dog in a very good costume. Are they saying I'm an idiot? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Snail, 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 snails everywhere! And 
in City News, there appears to be a squirrel overpopulation problem which is causing an acorn shortage. And that's making for some angry squirrels. Breaking news, everyone. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you news of Hercules, the dog who just saved a kitten from a hornet's nest. Wait, what's that? From two hornet's nests. Morse, this is one brave dog. Yes, Melody, and that's why the city has given Hercules a lifetime supply of sausages. And a hero medal, which itself is a dog biscuit. I think we can all agree that Hercules is everyone's best friend. <laughs> <laughs> and now, Melody, on to less exciting news. Sinkholes are popping up around the world. The bravest pet ever. I want him to rescue me. <laughs> I really don't see what the big deal is. <laughs> Jealous. Jealous? Jealous of what? <laughs> Ooh, sausages. Which you'll share with me when you become a hero dog, right? Yes, yes, of course. We'll see. <sighs> Oh, you think I can't be a hero dog. Fine, I'll just cross you off my friends to give extra sausages to list. Please, I'm all about salmon. Oh. Oh. <laughs> salmon. Ah, yes. Maybe you see this, Mrs. L. I'll save you, squirrel. Oops, sorry. Man, this neighborhood has really gone to the dogs. The dumb dogs. At least he thinks I'm a dog. I'm doing something right. and all, but I need something bigger. Whatever shall we do? Help! Save us, Washington! Only you are hero enough! Thanks, girls, but I gotta find something that really needs saving. Huh? <laughs> Lots of people around. And that nice old lady stranded in the middle of the street. Hero time! Washington! No! Oh! You okay, ma'am? Stay away from me, <gasps> mongrel! Oh, sorry about that. Let me help you clean these up. <laughs> Honey? You won't believe what just happened! Now, there aren't any even humans around to watch me. But I'm recently deceased. Help me, Washington. Uh, okay. Well, that was a bust. Wait, I've got it. Never mind. Huh? <gasps> Hero time! Arf! Arf! Woof! 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 Arf! Ahem. <clears throat> arf! 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 Woof! 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 Huh? Arf! Oh! Sam! Sam! Look out for those! You! for pedestrians! Uh, oh, four wheels rule! Hero time! Yeah! <laughs> Get out of my way, youngster! <laughs> Oh, 
This is my chance! Hero time! And again, sinkholes appear around the country. Help! Hmm? Washington, I'm stuck! <sighs> Not now. <laughs> Susie, you genie, you're geniuses! Because while I was ignoring you, I saw Alfie and Gracie, and you know what Alfie and Gracie are, right? Human children! The most high value thing you can heroically save! Huh? Excuse me, I've got some hero work to do. <coughs> I'm okay. But I'm really stuck! <coughs> there, saved. <laughs> Perfect! Ha-ha! Uh, remind me again why we're taking their toys? Because, Sam, soon the kids will start looking for their toys. And then I'll be around to find them, and then I'll be the hero! No! Now I get what you're trying to do. Brilliant! <laughs> Thanks. You're creating the danger by stealing the toys of two innocent little kids to fight <laughs> being a hero so you can get what you want. <laughs> Genius! Uh, wait! No, I... Uh... Ah! Our toys! I'm not so sure. <laughs> but I thought you were... <sighs> You're right, Sam. Maybe this isn't such a good idea after all. Yeah? What did I say? But what about the sausages? Yeah, yeah, well, we're gonna have to make do with our regular pet food and table scraps, Sam. What I was doing was... <laughs> Wrong! Wrong? But how could it be wrong? We're talking about sausages here! Ah! Washington! Help! Ha ha! Very funny! That's enough teasing out of you two for one day, thank you very much! You! Ah! Ah! Eugenie! Susie! Ah! Washington, help! Eugenie! Susie! They're falling! <laughs> wow, really? You too, Sam? And I thought we were pals. You have to go and taunt me too? Oh man, I gotta help them! Chuck's always partying. I'm coming, buddies! It's over! Hang on, friends! Wash! <laughs> Wash, good job! Where's my medal? Where are the journalists? Where are my fans? Look, <laughs> Alfie! <laughs> Our toy! <laughs> oh, thanks, thanks a lot, lot weird dog! dog. <laughs> 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 Breaking news live! Hello again, Jean Francois! It's absolutely incredible! Of a toy rescuer dog. <laughs> the mayor is just about to give him the Medal of Courage for his outstanding behavior in this particularly troubled time. Congratulations, little dog. You are my hero. 
Well done, dog. And as a special reward, here is two tons of kibble. <laughs> Dinner time. This reward is great, honey. But couldn't they have at least packaged all this kibble? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We're off to the farmer's market, kiddos. No wild parties, okay? Animals throwing a party? Too much. <laughs> too, too much. <laughs> yeah! Yes! An entire costume-free afternoon to do whatever we want. Yes, like soak in a tub. And away the fridge. And buy our toenails. Huh? Uh -oh. You guys are gonna get so busted. No way, they'll be gone for hours. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> ah, they're back! Panic! Ah! <laughs> Don't do this to me, Zipper! Not you, not you! Can't leave without our favorite podcast. Podcast and it. Huh? Hey! Oh, that was odd. I thought cats always landed on their feet. Hey! Oh. Oh. Look, hon, he wants to shake. Roll over. Roll over, boy. <laughs> now play dead, Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Good puppy. Brilliant. Hooray. <laughs> that was close. Good thing you play a dog so well, Washington. No biggie. Just raw talent mixed with a total commitment to my craft. But whatever. No. Washington, you're like the king of domestic pets. The king of domestic pets? Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the Majestic Domestic. Yeah, the Majestic Domestic. Oh, that's good. I like that. Majestic Domestic? He's acting like a house pet. It's not that hard. It is for me. I can't even land on my feet. You'll get it, big guy. Just keep practicing and someday... You'll be as good as you. Well, I was going to say you'll improve, but many things possible. You'll take it. Oh, hail the Majestic Domestic! Remember, total commitment, Sam. Put your paws out and let it rip. Commit, commit, commit. Hmm, you're still holding back. Maybe if the platform was higher. Yeah! Me? A genius? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. <sighs> Brother. Something to say, Vic? Me? No. I mean, you are pretty high on yourself right now, but I'll hold my tongue till you slip up and take a fall. Well, I hope you're ready to wait a while because there's nothing the Majestic Domestic can't handle. <laughs> We're home, kiddos. And there's someone we'd like you to meet. <laughs> Say hello to Petunia. <laughs> While we were at the market, we saw her in a tragically small cage. <laughs> Chicken. So, until we find her a better home, Petunia will be our guest. <laughs> Chicken. What is Washington doing? Being friendly. This book we got, How to Take Care of Chickens, says dogs and hens are natural allies. Well, if the book says so, I blindly accept it. And just look at his happy little smile. Good dog! <laughs> woof, woof, our Washington, you can't get out now. We're meeting our new guest. Woof. All right, all right, yes. Wow, I guess when you've got to go, you've got to go. 
Perfect. A free-range farm where our little chick will be happy. Great. See you soon. Bye. Good news, hun. The farmers can pick up Petunia on Saturday. <laughs> Hello, Washington. How's it going with Petunia the chicken? I thought foxes couldn't resist a nice, fat, juicy chicken. And we're just natural enemies. Huh? Gee, what if you're right? What if I can't control myself? Oh, no! In case you can't tell, I was being sarcastic. And don't forget, I'm the majestic domestic. He's right, Vic. Back in the wild, Wash was always talking about how much she loves chickens. And now look at him. He doesn't even look at Petunia. See? He's really the majestic domestic. Buck, Oh, <laughs> hey there, Petunia. Nice to eat. Ah! I get the next hug. Buck, <laughs> What are you doing? Washington, my slippers. Bad dog. <laughs> Commit, Sam. Commit. Commit. <laughs> Mayonnaise powder. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's too hard, too oh, hard, too hard. Wait a minute. <laughs> how to take care of cats and how to take care of chickens. Let's mix it up a bit. Apparently, chickens love sunbeams. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's cats. It says so right here. Never mind then. Blindly accepted. make it unless I make the full commitment. <laughs> guys, guys, what day is this? It's the day Sam finally lands on his feet. That's what day it is. Yeah, total commitment time. Make it higher, guys, higher. No, I mean, is today Saturday? <gasps> it's the farmers! Ha <laughs> ha! I made it! It's all gonna be fine now! Hello? Mr. Mrs. Livingstone! Us farmers are up at 5 a.m. We'll have to come back next week. Let's go. No, don't. You can't. No, no, no. Uh, Washington, something wrong? Wrong? I, 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 I'm in control. Okay, then could you not act like a crazy person for a sec? Sam's about to jump. Thanks. Commit, Sam. Commit. Commit. <sighs> You know, guys, I'm worried it's still not high enough. No! Get away! Get away! Stop him! <laughs> you can't fight me forever! It's hopeless! Rush, I don't understand. What's gotten into you? Foxes eat chicken, Sam! And I can't stop trying to eat Petunia! <laughs> Where is Petunia? Don't worry, she's safe. I took care of her. 
<laughs> I know! I'm not a domestication master! I'm a domestication monster! <laughs> I knew it! Yes! Yes! You all heard him admit it. You're my witnesses. Actually, I should have this documented. And do we know any notaries? Never mind. It's just a symbolic thing. But you'll sign it, right? You have to sign it. Hey! Come on, Victoria! Yeah, not nice! But guys, she's right. I'm not what I thought I was. Maybe, but you're still our friend. Thanks. <laughs> Look, the farmers haven't left yet. I told you that you can't substitute orange juice for oil. Okay, okay. Let's find a gas station. Okay, it's my duty to help you, Wash. I'll find a way to restrain them until the elves wake up. Wish me luck. Good luck. For Washington. For Washington. <laughs> What? I did it! I actually did it! Yay! He did it! He did it! Yeah! How's it going, furry friends? Hello. Sam? Hello. What are you doing out there, buddy? You know this cat? He's really phenomenal. He just landed on my hood from out of nowhere. Oh, yes it is. And by the way, hello. You aren't the free-range farmer, are you? Yes, we are. And by the way, we're here for the chicken you have on your head. Huh? <laughs> Guys, I just want to say thanks for sticking with me. You're welcome, I guess. As long as I don't have to hear the name Majestic Domestic ever again. Don't worry, I learned my lesson. Besides, we all know who the real hero is. The Phenomenal Feline. The Phenom... The Phenomenal Feline! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Today is the day! Wienerfest! <laughs> we won't be back until late! Did you hear that? Yeah. We have the house to ourselves all day! Huh? I call dibs on the couch! No way! And Wash, I'm counting on you to be my watchdog, okay? <laughs> okay, boy. Scare away all those burglars. Burglars? For real? Like on TV? Oh. Hmm. <sighs> Nap time. Yay! Yeah! Oh. time! Bro. Are you two nuts or what? <laughs> <laughs> Go away! And if I find you, you're a big, fat, rotten pistol sprout! Sorry, Sam. I've got to focus. What? Oh, come on! You're gone for hours! This is our chance! Yeah, well, that was before Mr. Livingstone asked me to protect the house from burglars. No. Uh, burglars? You mean like on TV? Uh, yeah. I guess so. Burgers? Are we scared of burgers now? Duh! You... Burglars! Like thieves who go into houses and steal people's stuff. There have been a bunch of burglaries in the neighborhood. Thieves have been stealing all the pet squeak toys. Their kibble. But most of all, the TV set! <laughs> Sam, I'm the watchdog. I've got this. Watchdog, you? You think you could protect this house with your ridiculous bark? First of all, I've made some major progress with my barks. And second, I know how it's done. I've seen watchdogs on TV. All I have to do is make the rounds and secure the perimeter. Wow, he is like so brave. I want to be a watchdog too. Let's go watch TV and see how it's Shall we get some popcorn first? All right. No one. Hmm. 
Nobody in here. <coughs> Nobody here either. <coughs> Nobody here either. <coughs> So there's burglars trying to get into the house and there's no reason we should be worried? Of course there's no reason to be worried. Wash is here to protect us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Susie, leave the popcorn! <laughs> Nothing in here. <laughs> unusual in here. Wash, it was just a joke. There haven't been any burglaries in the neighborhood. Did you say something? <sighs> Nothing in here. Nothing like a good burglar movie. But I'm still waiting to find out how you secure a perimeter. <laughs> Rest easy, guys. Nobody's in there. Find the house keys. Didn't you put them in my purse? Mm -hmm. You didn't. I, I did. I left the keys in the door. We're locked out. Maybe just maybe the door isn't completely closed. Maybe it will open all by itself. Friends, I have secured the perimeter. There isn't a burglar alive who'll be able to break in here. Ah! Someone is trying to get into the house! If you hadn't secured the perimeter, I'd even say it sounds like a... A burglar! A burglar? Wait a sec, this may all be a mistake. I'm going to try all my keys, you never know. <laughs> may, may, maybe it's just a visitor. Who are the living stones? Let's look through the mail slot. but uh, I don't know what comes next. Bark, Wash, bark! That's what watchdogs do. But I don't know how to bark. You said so yourself. I take back everything I said. Please bark, pretty please. Make those horrible burglars go away. Go, go away, away Washington, do it, it, please! <gasps> arf, 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 wolf, wolf, arf. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we're sconers! They're gonna steal our toys, and kill, and TV! Rush, I want you to know you're the best watchdog we've ever met. Even oh. though we've never met another watchdog. <clears throat> but he's not a watchdog, and for once in my life, I really wish I were wrong. Okay, so maybe I'm not a watchdog, but I am going to protect you. Listen up. Here's what we're gonna do. You guys are gonna go over that, and I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna try the kitchen door. Maybe if I can wiggle through the cat flap, I'll be able to reach the key. Oh. Yeah! What happened to you? You know, I really wish you'd start putting your tools away. <laughs> In the world is all that flour? Uh, since when do we keep flour in the bedroom? Uh, okay, let's try the bathroom. <laughs> ah! oh. oh, why, oh, why did I put all my bath stuff above the window? I may 
not be a watchdog, but I sure know a thing or two about watching TV. No. No, Wash. Calm down now. Calm down. It's me. You can't believe a burglar. He's imitating Mr. L's voice, so we'll let him in. get in through the front door, and Washington didn't even recognize me. And I gotta tell you, his bark is freaking me out. <sighs> big problems require big solutions. Hello, Mr. Locksmith? Well, those stupid burglars won't be coming back anytime soon. Oh. Who's the greatest watchdog? Watchdogs! Who's the greatest watchdog? Not good. The burglars have brought back up. Yeah, that was some major tools to open the door. No! Only one thing left to do. Eugenie, Sam, we gotta zip out of our costumes. What? what? The burglars won't expect to see wild animals in the house. If we can scare them, then we're home free. Me too, I'm gonna take off my costume. Did you open the door? How much do we owe you? Forget it! It's free! As long as you promise to never call me again! The living stills are back! Quick! We're home! Good dog, good dog. What a great watchdog you are, Washington. Unbelievable. I almost wonder if he didn't understand when I told him to protect the house. No. Beware of dog. I never realized what a great watchdog Wash is. It's only fair to warn intruders they don't stand a chance around here. <laughs> Did you hear that, Vic? Beware of dog! So, who was it that said I was no watchdog, huh? Honey, you coming? We're gonna be late. Coming, dear. Taco Fest, here we come! 